What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Back at Wright Metalworks, gonna work on moonshine a little bit. The plan for today is to get the rear end out of the car, get everything final welded, and then I have everything here. I can put it together and have it installed in the car, done, ready to go, and we won't have to mess with that anymore. So that's the plan for today. Get that out, get it fully welded, paint it, put the axles in for good, center section, put the brakes on, plumb the brakes, get everything done. I also brought the fenders and the core support down so we can hang all that stuff on and then make the front bars to hold the core support up and then we can make the rack bar and get that stuff getting started and then hopefully the steering shaft and all that other stuff will show up soon and we can get finished up with all that stuff and then i can start wiring the car so that's the plan for the day so let's not waste any time and let's get to it All right, guys, before we get to the action today, I want to talk to you about this video sponsor, Keeps. With Keeps, it's easier and more affordable for you to get treated for your hair loss and keep the hair that you already have. There's no awkward doctor's visits. So you can go online, meet with your doctor, and have your medicine delivered to your home every three months. Two out of three men will experience some sort of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. The best way to prevent it is to take care of it while you still have hair. Keeps has revolutionized the way that men's hair loss is being treated. With Keeps, there's no awkward pharmacy lines. You don't have to go stand in line to get your medicine. They send you your medicine every three months. With hair loss, prevention is key. With Keeps, it can take up to four to six months to start seeing results, so make sure you act fast. If you wanna try Keeps, go ahead and go to keeps.com slash Dr. Tudemol to get 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Dr. Tudemol. All right, guys, let's get to the action. All right, guys. While well, TJ's finishing up the rear end, I went ahead and put the front fenders and the core support on. So all we got to do now, and I have some tabs being cut out. Uh, the tabs will go right here. They'll be underneath this, and then our solid body mount will sit in that, and then we can bolt the two together, and then the two will come from here to there. Weld that. And then from the bar on the bottom, that'll kind of hoop down like that. You go across and hoop back up to the other side here, and then we'll be able to put our rack on. So that's the plan, probably not for today. I don't think I'll have the tabs today, but he's gonna get the rear end finished up. He's just finishing up the anti-roll bar tabs and then that'll be done, I can paint it and then I can start assembling it. The axles here, center section is in the back of the truck outside. And then uh, get that bolted in. Uh, I got new bolts in the control arms down there. So all that stuff's gonna be new. The only thing I'm not gonna paint right now is that bar right there. We're gonna end up putting the roll bar. I don't know if that piece is in here. It's not in here. The roll bar is gonna come up from right here and then go up and then connect to the main hoop in here. So it'll come off of here right here and then go back there and then straight down to that just to tie everything in. And then once that's done, there's two diagonal bars and then we can unbolt the body, lift it up a little bit, fully weld everything, get everything done there, and then put all our solid all of our solid body pushings in. And then we're just that much closer. I'm just working on it as much as we can, we're trying to get as much stuff done as we can so we can make it LS Fest. And I think I think we'll be okay. We're pretty much got a lot of the fab stuff done. It's just gonna be bolting pieces back on probably I'd say end of this week for sure. Everything will be done here for the majority of the fabrication stuff. And then we can just work on the little stuff that we gotta add, like the steering column and a couple little brackets to pull some of the electronics stuff. Other than that, we can move on. Motor should be done tomorrow. And then we can drop that in, start working on turbo kit stuff. I got a couple pieces on the motor I gotta, I gotta do it myself. Uh, and I'm still waiting on the torque converter. So we can't bolt the trans in yet. So we might wait for that to do the turbo kit but the converter should be done any day now also. And then uh, we'll have that, be able to put the motor transmission in it, get everything set, and then start working on the turbo system.
I guess. TJ got his masterpiece all painted up. I started to hit the, the more full cam, but this rear end came out badass. I'm super excited. So we're gonna let this paint dry and then uh, we'll start assembling it and get it back in the car. Rear end is assembled. I'm gonna slide it up under the car and then all I gotta do is make the brake lines and then connect them. And then, uh, yep, tighten everything down. Rear end will be done, we can move on. All right, the rear end is installed. I left the top shocks loose, that way if TJ needs to lean them back to weld some of this stuff, he can. But everything else is tight. All I have to do now is make the brake lines from that hose right there to each caliper, and then we'll be good to go for the brakes. So get all that hooked up, and then I can actually have a sealed brake system and we can bleed them and stuff like that. But right now, TJ's over here narrowing another rear end. I'm gonna roll over to Matt's shop and get some brackets made for these. And then I can put the bars in here and get them done. Yeah, it looks so sick. Huh? It looks super sick. Yeah. All right, got the brakes plumbed. All hooked up, so now I can put some fluid in it, and we can bleed them at some point. Probably not right now, obviously, but that's all complete. So only thing needs to be done still is finish welding the anti-roll bar, paint it, and put it in the car. Set everything to neutral. Make sure all the bars and everything are the right length, and then roll cage stuff. All right, so we're doing the brake stuff. I know. I don't know if it was in the last video or the one that I'm about to put out, but you can see how flimsy the master was. And I decided, okay, let me just look at the factory stuff. So the factory pedal with a little bit of modifications, you can fit the Dodge or Strange Master on it. And then all I had to do was adjust or cut the rod about a half an inch so that I could still adjust it. So now I can adjust this out right to the master. Probably right about there. And then you can just tighten them up. Nut down, and you're good to go. So now I got just a little bit of play there, and then all the stroke. If you guys know what I'm saying. Is that funny? <laughs> These front core support braces put in. So, next thing is to put the rack brace. So, it's going to go from this bar to that bar, so it'll go down like that in front of this piece here and then we can connect the rack to that but it came out pretty badass i just gotta get some body washers for this right here that's one of the body uh spacers that i just put it up there so that we could kind of lock everything down but tj did a badass job on this all right we got down bars now they're tacked in i cut that out we'll turn that back in uh, that's what it looks like right now. So, only thing we got left to make is the bars going from here to the tunnel and the bars going from here down to there, our diagonal bars. And then we can fully weld the cage. There is gonna be a bar in between here too. So it'll go in between there just for some more support. But she's getting there. So we'll work on it a little bit more, probably Monday. But. We're getting closer. Once all that stuff's done, as soon as that's all fully welded, I can just get in there and start slamming out the wiring. I got a bunch of Motion Race Works parts coming in today, so get home, check those out. Valve covers and steering shaft, parachute mount, and yeah, steering shaft's important. So we gotta get that in so we can do the front end. But the brakes actually, this came out really well. I remember how like loose that was. That's all good. Only one leak on the entire brake line system and I was able to just tighten it up, so. We'll come off the dash and brace this right here. And then we can tie in the steering shaft and all that stuff too. We got a bunch of Motion Raceworks parts in today. I know it's dark out, but let's uh, let's get some of this stuff out and see what we got here. So we got the Holly 686 dash mount. Uh, we got our Grant steering wheel, some buttons, you know, red for trans brake. Green for bump and go baby go, a little bit more boost. Got our turbo drains. Uh, these are our roll bar mounts for our Dominator uh, ECU mount. These are for our buttons. 
The nice thing too that I noticed on these new motion wheels is they slotted these so you can actually put the button on before you had to drill them out. So that's super cool. That's our center for our steering shaft. And then one of the things I'm most excited about is these babies right here. Boom. Motion Raceworks LT valve covers. Those are dope. So that'll dress that thing up real nice. There's two things I was super excited about in this shipment was these valve covers because I ordered some for that motor over there and they didn't end up clearing my rockers because they got real tall shaft mounts on them. So I was super upset about that. But we got one of Motion Raceworks newest, latest and greatest icon throttle bodies. If I can get the box open, boom. They just packaged a lot better than that. I did already open it up because I had to see. But this thing is dope. So the other thing we got too to kind of help with the fabrication process is their dual inlet that bolts. Let's see if we can get it out of here. All big hands over here and get it out of the box. Alright, so this goes like that. This stuff out of the way. If I hold it straight, it'll go on bolts on just like that so we can run our inlets to our turbos right to that comes with v-bands and clamps super super simple to use and i was really excited about that make everything simple uh, we've got our do-it-yourself parachute kit they do sell parachute kits for uh, a lot of make and model cars six nashville at the moment is not one of them and then we got their t4 hot side kit to plumb up the turbos which are up there on the bench so Super excited. That'll help us get going. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this on the intake. I got a holly throttle body on there right now, but I definitely want to use this one. So I'm going to make sure everything bolts up. All right. I couldn't resist myself. Had to put it on. It's like a kid on Christmas when I get car parts. So it looks absolutely sick. I was going to do polished, but I decided I was going to do black for two reasons. One, it kind of matches a few rows. And two, some of the stuff I want to stand out so that when you guys walk up to the car, you know exactly where this thing came from. Not that you don't already, but I want some of these parts to just stand out because the companies that are helping us out are companies that I love and I'm super proud to be working with. Um, when, when Doug came on board, that was, that was a big moment for me. Doug and Holly, um, Ocean Raceworks over there, not just Doug, the whole team over there is awesome. Uh, Holly, you guys know I use them all the time. It's one of my favorite ECs to tune on. So I was super stoked to have them on board and Motion Raceworks just has a bunch of badass products, all made in the USA, all quality stuff that you're never going to have a problem with at the track. And if you do, they're going to stand behind their products. And that's something that I like. So we're going to end it off there. Next video, we'll see today. This will, you guys will see this Monday afternoon. So Tuesday, we're picking up the motor. So there'll be a video with that, setting everything in, getting everything going. TJ's been down there welding and stuff like that on the car, just killing it. I I can't thank him enough. TJ, this, this wouldn't even have happened if TJ hadn't been involved. He helped me get the car. He helped me with all the fab work. Just, I, I can't thank him enough. Um, if you guys want to check out his Instagram, it's right underscore metal underscore works, I believe, on Instagram. I'll post it down in the description below. But yeah, go give him a follow. Um, he's, just, he's just a badass fabricator and he's a really good friend. And he's tremendously helped me out with this project. So... Go give him a follow. As always, stay tuned and we'll see you in the next episode.